Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Oblong Polka Dots and my name is Kerr and on this channel we talk about makeup, skincare, and beauty. So if that's something you're into, you've come to the right place. This is my, I believe, Sephora Haul 1. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what I spent because I think it'd be ridiculous to even talk about it, but just know that I placed, um, I believe I placed eight orders in total online. One of them was for pickup in store and then I also shopped in store. I also want to point out an honorable mention. I did pick up Killian's Roses on Ice but I bought that at Costco because Costco had a fantastic sale. Um, and full disclosure, I've worked for Costco for almost 25 years so I'm just letting you know that but I did pick up Killian's Roses on Ice from Costco, so it will not be in this haul. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> right now I have three of this size box here. Um, one box I got rid of because the order only had two small items in it. And then I also have two small bags. So I'm going to go through this as quickly as I can and share with you at least one item I know I'm going to return. And the reason I'm returning it is because I bought two of them in error. So, <laughs> all right. So for this first box, we have how many? We have eight items in the first box. So let's pull everything out and take a look. Since I did so much shopping online and not in person, as far as um, the foundations that I purchased, the color matching, I'm a little iffy on that. So what I'm gonna do is I'll just open them and swatch them and if they don't work for me, I'm taking them right back because it ain't that type of party. <laughs> so the first one I bought is the Makeup by Mario and this one is a Surreal Skin Foundation and I picked it up in the color 18W. Let's open it. Let me grab this so I can open it up and we'll see what it looks like. If we're skin twins and 18W works, then that's a good thing, right? Um, let's pull it out. Oh, you know, I really think that that um, foundation matching tool that they have on Sephora's website is really good because I thought that this was going to be too red for me, but it's not. I can see it already. I think it's going to be fine. This looks just like all the other foundations that I own. And then here's the lid. Yeah, this will work fine. Yay, 18W. So I'm excited to give this a try because I've heard so many good things about this foundation. Um, I just didn't even think about it or consider it until today. So there you go. Ah, trying to put it back in the box. It's back in the box now. All right, so the next foundation that I grabbed is from Laura Mercier. I've never had a foundation from this brand before, so this is new to me. And it's called the Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation. It comes in this box. And then the shade that I picked up is 4C1 Praline. And let's open this one. Huh, I think it's another winner. Look at that. This might be a little bit deep for me. Um, I can tell through like frosted glass, but that's fine. I can throw a powder on top of it and we're good to go. As long as it doesn't do that thing where it oxidizes and gets really dark. Here's what the lid looks like. I've heard a lot of people talking about, about this foundation and how nicely it sits on, uh, can't talk, how nicely it sits on the skin. So I am excited to give that a try. Next up, I have a couple of, what are these? Oh, blushes from Gucci. So this is what the box looks like. And again, anything that does not work, y'all, it's going right back to that store. Because, uh, yeah, you don't have money to spend like that. If we're buying it, we're going to use it. I mean, so here is what the packaging looks like. Oh, that's so pretty. Can you see that? It's gold and it's got like these little stars on it. Oh, I do like that. How do you open it, though? There's a little kind of nubbins there in the front, but oh, it just pops right open. Ooh. Yeah, I'm keeping this. This is my type of color, you guys. You know I love those earthy tones, those sort of terracotta, clay, um, reddish brown blushes. So 
yeah, keeping this. And I think at the bottom of it is probably, what's at the bottom here? There's like a little space for it. Nothing? Does it pop open? Don't go breaking your stuff the moment you buy it. Good grief. I can't tell, but yeah. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. And again, if I didn't mention the shade, which I think I already did, but I'm getting senile, you guys. This is number six, Warm Berry. And the other one I grabbed is number five, Rosy Beige. And let's see what this one looks like. Oh, it's the same packaging. Very nice. I like that. And, ooh, this one looks like it's going to be a little bit light, but maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, these come with a little mirror too, by the way. Maybe that'll be just right. This is that kind of mauve -y. Let's just swatch it. We'll do a little swatchy swatch. Oh, it's so buttery. I wasn't expecting that. Let's see what it looks like. So, wait, let me get a better swatch than that. Oh, this is nice. There we go. Can you see that okay? It's a nice pale color, not pale in the sense of ashy, just very light. So this will work well, especially if I'm wearing something where I want it to be like a more neutral looking blush. So, hey, it's a keeper. Good job, Sephora's website for having the colors up in a way that people can actually see it. Okay, so I have a couple more Gucci products here. One of them I believe is a return because like I said, I believe I purchased... I know I purchased two of the same lipstick by accident and it's in one of these. So this is the Rouge à Lèvres Satin and it's Love Before Breakfast number 403. And this packaging, you guys, this packaging screams luxury. It's ridiculous. It's so opulent. It looks very... um. I don't think you can see the pattern that's on here, but it looks very art deco. Um, it's just beautiful. And I love Gucci lipsticks. <laughs> so I had to grab a couple of more. Um, this one is like a pinky sort of red color. It's very bright. So I wanted it to be more of a blue based red, but I think that I can pull this off. Let's just see what it looks like swatched. I should have grabbed some wipes. This is going to be a messy video, isn't it? Oh yeah, I can wear this. No problem. This is fine. Can you see that? It's a nice pinky berry color. Yeah, boy. This is pretty. Can't wait to pop that in my bag. I wear my other one all the time. It's just a really nice light formula. It's very satiny, so it feels almost on the lips like a... um just a really, you know what it feels like? It feels like the Revlon lipsticks. That's what it feels like. So if you know that you like those, that kind of like sh sheer sort of, um, you know, easily worn formula where it's not heavy, like a really heavy lipstick, then you would like these Gucci ones too. And they last for a while. So this one is called, um, from the same line, Goldie Red number 25. And it has a little star after it which I think is also part of the name. And it has that same pretty gilded Art Deco packaging. And ah, that's my blue base red right there. It's more orangey though in person, but you can see the blue that's in it. So let's just swatch that one next to the other one. Yeah, this is pretty too. There we go. It's got some orange, so it's leaning a little more brownish red, and I can definitely pull that off. That's pretty. I do like that. These would be standalone lipsticks, though, on their own. Like, if I do a very... And I do a lot of neutral eye looks. That's part of the reason why I wanted these lipsticks, because they really pop. So then the lips would be the center of attention, so to speak. These are also this, a different formula, but they are the same to each other. And the formula is called Rouge de Beauté Brilliant. And I have one in goldy red, that same goldy red that I just showed to you with a little star after it. And the other one is in Diana Amber. So this is the goldy red with the 25 star, just a different formula. 
and I have not tried this formula yet, so this is going to be new to me. And the packaging is so pretty. It looks very um, Victorian. So, ooh, this is a very narrow, <laughs> it's very narrow lipstick. And this is what the shade looks like. And let's see how it compares to the other formula. Very similar. This one, though, is a little bit stickier. It feels a little stickier, and I think you can tell it's a bit glossier. So this is a much higher shine lip that I would be wearing with this one. It's pretty. And let's see. For the other one, this one is Diana Amber 508. And I think it has, yeah, it has the same packaging. So skinny. <laughs> it's really funny to look at. And that's what the color looks like. And let's see, we're going to swatch it right there at the end. So that's the Diana Amber. And you can tell, you guys, that I really like the same type of shades. <laughs> Just different formulation. But I figure if I stick with the lipstick shades that I really enjoy, then I'll actually wear them rather than to have them sit and rot in my collection because I wanted to um, try something new or do something different. So that is that first box. And let me get some, hold on. I wasn't going to swatch these, but I can't help myself. I'm like just a kid in a candy shop. I'm so excited because like I said, I ordered all these online. I didn't actually get to see them in person. So I've been waiting this whole time to see what they would look like. I'm just going to take off my swatches to see what else is going on with the rest of this. In case we want to swatch some more stuff here. Start with a blank canvas. And I use my little Shiseido cotton pads. Those are so nice. I probably shouldn't waste them for wiping off swatches on my hands, but it's fine. And then I use the Clinique Take the Day Off to get the color off of there. All right, so now we have another box. Another Sephora box. <laughs> In this box, it says we should have 10 products. So let's take a look. And I did look at all of these before I came to hang out with you guys just to make sure stuff wasn't missing or broken. So I did take the inventory already. Um, but And also, I tried to open these up so I wasn't going to make a ton of racket in the video because I, you know, sometimes we'll go back when I'm editing and it's like, Arr! it's just like super duper loud. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, you guys. So this is a repurchase and I repurchase this every time Sephora has a sale. It's the Dr. Dennis Gross Ultra Gentle Daily Peel. Um, you probably have seen this peel in like the medium version, which is orange, like an orange band. And then the red version, which is like the super strong one. I use this one, the, you know, kind of really gentle formula because it, wor it works best for my skin. I love these so 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 much i cannot be without them they used to be 88 dollars. now i think that they're 92 um i have another box that i'm almost out of i think i have five little sleeves that are left let me show you what it looks like so i can use these every day but i don't it's a chemical exfoliant so i think that if i had to kind of average it out i use them about three three times a week and what you do is you just grab your phone, turn on the timer for two minutes, and you start off with the sash number one, and you use that over a face that's already cleansed and dry, just to clarify. So your face is clean and dry, and that's when you start the treatment. So you use a little pad, let your thing keep going for two minutes, and then once it beep, 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 then you use the neutralizer, and you run that all over as well. And the way that I use these is I use a... Um, Sarah, what is this? Sarah Vital? Sarah Vital? What kind of name is that brand? It's Sarah Vital, I think is how you pronounce it. But I use the um, retinol, their nighttime and daytime retinol deal. So this coupled with that, when I wake up in the morning, my skin is flawless. It gets, it just, it's so beautiful. <laughs> it takes care of all the texture. It helps to um, balance out my tone over time. It's just really a lovely, beautiful product. It is totally worth getting the big box. Believe me, you get five extra little sleeves in the big box too. So this is going to be a long video if I keep doing all this talking, y'all. Okay, so I have three other lipsticks here, and they are the Gucci Rouge Lavois. 
voile and two satins. And I think one of these is one of the ones that I got two of. Yep. It's the Diana Amber. So I'm going to take this and set this to the side because I know that I need to take this back. So I'm going to show you the other two instead. The first one is Louisa Red, number 506. And it has that same beautiful gilded packaging. And oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It's like a burgundy with brown and red. It's just so beautiful. Oh, love it. These are my shades. This, these are the shades I wear constantly, all the time. So I'm excited. Um, this one is called Love Before Breakfast, and it's number 403. Same packaging. Look at that. That is my fuchsia pinky red. I'm excited to wear this one. I love this type of color on me. I think it looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. Yay! <laughs> Um, next we have, let's see. Oh, I grabbed some stuff from Melt, but that's going to be in my next video because I grabbed a whole bunch of stuff actually from Melt. But I did get one thing from Melt in this order, and it is the, what is this called? The Sundown Blush Light. So, oops, that's what this looks like. It's that little disc from Melt, and then let's open it. This is one of those blushes that I just seem to buy repeatedly. It really reminds me also of Max Raisin a little bit. So, you know, that's my type of blush that I like. And I'm sure I'll be wearing this a lot. The difference, though, with this one is it looks to me like it has a slight um, gold shimmer that's running through it. So I think this will look really pretty for the summertime. And it comes with a little mirror. Excited about that. Oh, should I swatch it since we're swatching stuff, you guys? Ooh, can you see it? Oh my gosh, look at that. That's pretty. Can you see that? Nice. I like this one. This is going to be nice. Um, we also have here, let me not make a mess. Let's wipe off my hand a little bit. Okay, so we also have two of what is probably the most hype products I I have purchased in a long, long time. They are the, Dene D I can't talk. They're the Danessa Myricks Beauty Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed. Woo! Y'all, these names are so long. I don't understand. I don't understand. This one is called Golden Hour, and this one is called Prima Donna. And I, almost 100% certain that you guys have seen these already on everybody else's channels, but you're on my channel today, so we're going to open them up and take a look at them. Now, these I did swatch in store a while ago when I was um, shopping before because I wanted to see like what the formula felt like, and it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I'm going to tell you something. These are pigmented. So I think the way that I'm going to use them is I'm going to take a little bit and put it on the back of my hand. So I'll dip the brush in there, then use my hand to diffuse it and then put the product on my face because this stuff is like, is not playing, did not come to play. And it has a little screw top that you screw off and that's what it looks like. Isn't that beautiful? I'm excited, I can't wait to use these branching out into my blush world really getting into the liquids and all kinds of stuff that one was prima donna and then this one is golden hour let's open this one too okay get in there Ooh, look at that. Here, I'll open it for you so you can see it. This is a coral. And I really don't have a lot of coral blushes, but I think it's going to work well with my complexion, especially for the summer. I think this is so perfect for summer. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. These companies really know what they're doing, huh? So for the last of this box, I have 
some Dior blushes. I have three of them. They're the Rouge blushes from the Couleur Couture Blush Poudre Longue Tenue. Whew. Trying. I'm trying, you guys. I am trying. There's three here. So let's look at the first one. This one is in the shade 999. And I don't remember if these have actual names or if they only have numbers. And I don't know if you guys have purchased from Dior before. I like to buy from the Dior website because it feels so luxurious. They send you these bags that are like just beautiful and they have this bow and the bow has Dior on it. I mean, it's just a very luxurious experience. So if you can put together a couple few of your coins and just buy like one thing from the website, do it. It is worth the experience alone. That being said, this is the velvet case that it comes in and it's embossed with the Dior insignia. And then when you open it, it's the same kind of packaging that you would normally see for like their quince or their other blushes. And so what you do is there's a little spot right here that you can indent and then you can open it. And I'm going to be careful because it should be plastic. Yeah, there's always like a little kind of plastic film over the top to protect the product, but this is what it looks like. And here's a little brush. I never keep the brushes. I have a drawer, a drawer of these brushes because I just don't use them. Like who's using this? Anyways, here's the color. Let me take off the plastic so you can at least see what it looks like. And it does come with a mirror. Isn't that beautiful? Tell me that's not beautiful. This is divine. I live for this stuff, you guys. It is so much fun when you're doing your makeup and you can reach for like a couple of luxury products and you put them on and you just feel like like a princess or like a queen or it's just, you know, little things like that are so rewarding and it makes it feel like it's worth, it's just worth the experience. This one is called 962. Again, comes in a little velvet pouch and we have, we're going to indent that little spot right there. I'm just going to take off this plastic and this brush for you so you can actually see the color. This is a very pretty dusty mauve pink. And I do gravitate towards these colors as well. This one has a slightly more berry tone than I thought it would online, but it's still beautiful. And I look forward to using it. So yes, honey, let's pop that back on, put this back in, close this back up tuck this back in. Um, let me know if you guys want me to do a um, video showing all of my more higher end or luxury items because I would be happy to put one together for you. I did not really stop buying luxury items until maybe, I don't know, probably during the pandemic is really when I began doing that because I couldn't really see the value of buying something like that. Cause honestly, I thought that the luxury items only had a luxury name and that they actually were just crap. <laughs> and that They didn't really work very well or were not catering to anybody that looks like me. And I think the first item I bought was either a Chanel lip or maybe it was like a Dior Quint. And I was hooked from there. I started buying Tom Ford. Um, I bought some Natasha Denona. I had had Pat McGrath. So just, it depends on what the brand is. You really have to just kind of go in and judge it for how it actually works rather than automatically thinking, oh, this luxury house is probably going to be like, you know, toy makeup or whatever. They're just putting their name on it, but the makeup is crap. That is not true. They, I mean, for me anyways, with the Dior and Chanel and some other things that I've tried, like Gucci, for example, they, it's high quality. They did a good job. So this is 219. And I just realized on the back of these, they do have names. So I'm not opening the other two again, but I'll tell you what this one is. It's Rose Montagne. And this is so beautiful. It's a really nice blushing pink. And this type of blush works really well for me during the fall and the winter when it's cooler, when I haven't been in the sun, this tone looks really nice on my skin. So I'm excited. Yay. <laughs> We're getting there, you guys. Um, 
I hope you have snacks or something. I know this video is going to be really, really long. I'm sorry. But this is part of the reason, too, why I was like, I really need to just break this up into two different videos. Plus, I'm still waiting for a couple of shipments to come. So, you know, that's how it be sometimes. All right. And put that over there. And let's get our little receipt together so we know we're going to take that lipstick back. Next, we have another box. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is absurd I know it is I, I know that but this is for me this is my time to have fun and do something I really enjoy so. all right so according to this receipt it says that I should have eight items in this box and I believe that I do one of them I have twice so this is the Paula's Choice weightless body treatment it's the 2% BHA salicylic acid and antioxidants it's for all skin types. It exfoliates to reveal younger looking skin, softening rough, bumpy skin, and improves texture and tone. So if you have keratosis pilaris or um, strawberry skin, this is supposed to be really good for that. Like if you have strawberry legs, strawberry arms, if you know what I'm talking about, KP, then this is supposed to really help out with that. So I'm going to be using this on my legs. And I have two of them. Um... Next we have, oh, this is a repurchase. So I really love the Fenty Skin um, Butter Drops. So this is the refill. And I'll show you what it looks like. So you just take this little refill pod thing and you just slip it into the circle that you already have with your original one. And I needed a refill, so that's why I grabbed this. This is a whipped oil. And my skin is really dry, so it really helps to keep it moisturized and like completely locked in for the day. I did pick up something I haven't tried before. It's the Sephora Better Skin Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer, and I picked it up in 35N. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure <laughs> if this is the right shade for me or if it's going to be too dark for me, but we're going to try it out and we're going to see if it works. Um, I think it should be okay, though. It'll be my summer concealer, if that's the case. And then I also have these three blushes. I think they just came out with these. It's the Sephora um, Colorful Blush line. I think these are new. So let's open them and take a look. Let's see. They have a little sticker on the side. So this is number 17 and they're matte. I think they're all matte and the color is called Hey Jealousy. Do you guys remember that song? Uh, I just aged myself. All right. Let's take it off of there. Take it off of here. There we go. Let's see. This is one of those flip tops. It does come with a mirror and that's the shade. This to me looks like, um, do you guys, have you ever had raspberry sorbet? If you have, this is what the shade looks like. I think it's going to work out well. Let's swatch it. Ooh, nice formula. It doesn't feel dry at all. It feels really smooth. You know, like the Lorac formula, it feels kind of like that. So here's a swatch. It's definitely buildable, so if you're dipping your brush in there, you shouldn't worry about going overboard. Yeah, this is pretty. Let's look at the other ones. I'm so excited. So much fun. It's just fun doing stuff like this. Let's see. So this one is called, what is this one called? Hold on, I got the stuck of stuck on my hand, or sticker stuck on my hand. This is called 16 Heated. And this is what it looks like. I feel like I have a lot of blushes that look like this, but that's because I gravitate towards the same shade. So yeah, let's swatch this one too. Same formula. Let me swatch it right next to the other one. 
Ooh, this is pretty. You know what this reminds me of a little bit? I don't know if it's coming out on camera. There we go. That's better. This reminds me a little bit of the NARS orgasm if it were more pink. Yeah. Not more pink, you know, like the kind of pink that it is, but like a lighter pink. So that's what that looks like. And then this last one is, let's open this one. So this last one is called Five Over the Top. And, ooh, yes. This is like a coral. It's a bit more fiery. Can you see that? I do like this one. Let's swatch it. Let's have a clean hand here. This one feels a little bit drier compared to the other two. So, oh my gosh, that's so bright. It's like a bubblegum pink. Can you see that? Oh wait, on camera it doesn't look like that though, does it? Is it me? Am I tripping? No, I'm tripping. I'm sorry. Definitely looks coral though. So this will be really nice for summertime. It's nice. All right, so that's it for, oh my gosh, no, that is not it for that box. Hold on. I have one more thing that was in that box and I was so excited to get this. Let me clean my hand off a little bit. Um, because I've been seeing a lot of other people use this palette. And when I first looked at it online, I was like, I'm not gonna buy that palette. There's no way those colors won't work for me. And then I started seeing more and more people using it. And I realized like the way that it looks online, don't, I'm not saying don't trust it, but I'm saying it's a bit deceptive because when you actually see it in use on someone's skin, it is beautiful. It's like, it's a whole nother story, you guys. So it's the Huda Beauty EMC Powered Palette, this one. And there you go, Empowered, I believe is what it's called. And that's what it looks like. And here is the palette on the inside. It does come with a giant mirror too, so just be aware of that. <laughs> It's heavy also. This feels, you know, substantial like uh, Natasha Denona or Pat McGrath. This palette is so beautiful. I can't get over the fact that I almost skipped over this. I'm glad I did not. Um, yeah, this is going to be in the rotation for a hot minute because all of these colors are colors I would normally reach for and lots of neutrals. And it's got this really weird one right here called Manifest. Manifest Itty, I think is how it's pronounced. This one right here. And it looks like there's a little river that's going through it. Whatever that is that's over the top of it, it's some kind of, I don't know, it looks almost like a primer, but frozen. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. Um, you guys will be seeing this in a video. I will definitely make a look with it and share it with you. Oops, come on. Yes, I'm putting it back in the box, but only temporarily. Um, now let's get to these bags. This one I'll do first because this actually was a separate order that I placed online. And the box, a whole big old box came like those other two bo or other boxes I just showed you. And it only had these two small products in it. I was like, come on, come on, really? So this is another Gucci lipstick from that same uh, Rouge à Lèvres matte line. And this one is called They Met in Argentina, number 208. And it has that same kind of art deco type packaging, except this one is like a column or a pillar. And that's what the color looks like. It's just a really pretty muted neutral pink. So... I'll be wearing this with a lip liner and I believe it's matte. Yeah, it's matte. So I'll throw probably a gloss or something on top of it. And then this other one is actually my very first ever Tom Ford purchase. It's the lip color Rouge à Lèvres. And the shade that I picked up is 80 Impassioned. 
I've never had a Tom Ford lipstick before. This is new. This is what the packaging looks like and it screams luxury. It really, really does. And it's heavy. It's substantial. It's got the monogram there on the top for Tom Ford with the TF. And of course, I picked a shade that is just so basic. <laughs> but I figure if I'm going to buy a lipstick that is $60, I want to be able to wear it every single day. So that's what that looks like. And since we have it open, let's swatch it. Yeah. See, this is one of those colors I'll wear all the time. Very nice. It's got a nice shine to it. And again, this formula feels very similar to that Gucci formula, which is also similar to um, Revlon. So I think that the Revlon li lipsticks are fantastic. I have a ton of those. And I think the formula is going to be really wearable for this one, too. So next up in this little bag. So this is the, the purchase that I made, I believe, online. So this was the order I placed online. And I picked up, I don't know what this is. I think she just threw it in the bag. Some kind of sample. Amika Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. Probably, what is this for? Hair, I think. I don't think I'll be using it, but... Thanks for the sample. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is another first time purchase. This one is from Iconic London and it's called Kissed by the Sun. It's a multi-use cheek glow. And the shade I picked up is Playtime. So this is what the box looks like. I don't know if it's going to be washed out or not. And then let's take a look at it. If you guys are still there and you're hanging with me, your champs. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, look at this packaging. I am going to put fingerprints all over this. <laughs> okay, let's see. We'll pop it. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. It does come with a mirror. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Let's swatch it. I have to. I have to. Oh, it feels so buttery. And it's got gold in it. Holy crap. This was a good purchase. And pop that right next to that lipstick. Can you see that? I didn't do a very good swatch, did I? Let me do another one. Really dig in there. Get in there. I'm already taking off a little iconic name. Oh, I already wiped it off, you guys. Boo. That's okay. This is beautiful. This will go right on top of a blush. So pretty. I hope you can see that. Glad I made this purchase. This is beautiful. Um, next we have another Gucci product. I don't know what happened with this year's sale. I guess it was just going to be a very Gucci centric sale um, or purchases or whatever for me. Clearly, I won't be shopping for a long, long time. Don't even look. Don't look for no haul videos after this, you guys, because there's not going to be none. <laughs> not for a long, long time. Okay, so we have a Gucci Poudre de Beauté Eclat Soleil bronzing powder. So I'm finally getting into bronzer. This is number five, and I've never really been into bronzer before. So we're going to give it a try. I've dabbled, but I really haven't like worn it, worn it. But I finally decided I wanted to. And this comes in a really nice little satin bag as well. And I don't think you can see it on camera, but here is the, um, oops, I can't, you can't see it. But there is the Gucci name that's embossed in the fabric. And once again, they're killing it with the packaging. This packaging is ridiculous, you guys. It's over the top. It's, it's got Art Deco. It's got this really beautiful shade of blue. Um, how do you open? Oh, it just springs right open. It does come with a mirror. And then this is what the bronzer looks like. I wanted something that was really warm toned. So that's why I picked this one. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, underneath it is... How do you... Oh, here we go. So in case you buy this and you're like me and you can't figure it out, if you take this and tip it back just a little, the bottom will spring up and then underneath it, you have a little brush to 
that says Gucci, which I'll probably never, ever use. It'll go into the brush banish pile, but that's what that looks like. Looking forward to working with this and trying it out and starting to bronze like a big girl. Bronzing and contouring. Who'd have thunk it? Um, I have three more products from this bag. So I did grab the NARS Laguna bronzing powder, but I got it in the small version. And the reason I did that is because I swear I've like swatched this before. I got number six and I was like, eh, I don't know about this one. Um, so, but I love the NARS brand. So I figured I would give it a try. And this is what the bronzer looks like. And this one is more chocolatey compared to the Gucci that I just showed you, which is more red. But I think this will work well. And it does come with a little mirror. Very nice. So we'll give that one a try too. We'll get, get the bronzing practice going on. And then I'll probably eventually show you guys in a video once I actually get that down to a science. I have two more items in this bag. So I did pick up stuff from one size and you will see in my next haul, I have I think either one or two more things from one size, but I saw a lot of people talking about this in their hauls and I decided I wanted to give it a try as well. So these are the one size lip snatcher velvet flex cream and cushion gloss lip duos and a partridge and a pear tree. <laughs> the shade that I picked up, this one is Nightwalker. So it's supposed to be a lipstick on one side and then a gloss on the other. I'm not a huge fan of the packaging. I'll be completely transparent about it, but it looked like the formula was really promising. So I really wanted to support Patrick. And so I decided that I would get this. And then the other one that I grabbed is, I can put this back. The other one I grabbed is called Open Wide. And that's what this one looks like. It's a fun, summery, fuchsia sort of pink color and then you have a really nice topper for the gloss that's going to go on the other side so I think between these two I probably will have a lot of fun they're a little bit big for the packaging it's a bit cumbersome but I think it's nice to be able to have two products in one especially if you travel a lot because then you can kind of narrow down what it is you're packing and instead of packing like four different things you would just be packing two okay so that was everything in this bag here. Let's put all this stuff back and then we'll go and grab the last bag. <laughs> so this last bag should not exist, you guys, because I was only going into the store to pick up my stuff. And hold on, I turn that off. So that's all I was supposed to do. And I ended up walking past things in order to get my things. And then I suddenly had bought things. So here we are. That's what that looks like when that happens. So the first thing I did was, I want to preface this with by saying I'm not a huge matte liquid lip fan, but I was watching Nana, if you follow her, and she uses them as a lip liner. And I was like, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. So it kind of changed my mind about what I would do with these. So I did purchase four of the Sephora liquid lips and I got the shade, what is this? Oh yeah, I forgot, they're really small. So this is Blackberry Sorbet, number 14. This one is English Rose, number 86. This one is number five, Infinite Rose. And this one is number 41, Vintage Rose. So I'll either end up wearing them as lipsticks and throw a gloss on top and just stop being a baby about it, or I will use them as lip liners and then throw something different in the center. Either way, I'm excited to finally try these out. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but <laughs> these shades, they're almost perfectly gradient. Look at this. <laughs> I'm only just now noticing this. I'm so predictable with my purchases, you guys. I really, really am. Like, I'm just predictable. Um, I did grab these two, although I'm hoping that they're as nice as I think they're going to be. It's the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Eyeshadow Palettes in Sublime Smoke and Midnight Voyage. And when I say mini, I mean these are really small. They're so tiny. Let me take one and open it so you can see. Where's my scissors?
The reason I wanted these is because the Pat McGrath formula is beautiful, but her palettes are a pain in the ass to travel with. And so there's just no way I'm going to do that. So I figured maybe this would be a nice compromise. And I really like the packaging. She did a great job with that. It looks nice. So here, this is one of those flip tops. You just flip it open. And when I say tiny, I mean tiny. Like bring your small brushes with you kids. Comes with a mirror too. But can you see that? These are all shades that exist in her current palettes. So if you have any of her palettes, chances are you have at least one or two of these shades. Um, but like I said, I think that her formula is really beautiful, but you will never catch me traveling with one of those big ass palettes. The mothership ones, I'm just not going to do it. Like it's ridiculous. There's no way. Um, so I'm really hoping that between these two little ones that I'll be able to uh, satiate my um, need for having a Pat McGrath palette with me on a trip. All right, let's grab everything else out of this bag so I don't duplicate efforts here. And also so I'm not making a bunch of noise in your ear. We're down to the last five products, you guys. I have been wanting to get one of these for such a long time, and I just don't know why I didn't grab it because they retail for $18. So I don't know what my hesitation was. When I went to the store, I was able to swatch them though, which I'm really glad for because there was really only one shade that I liked. So this is the LYS Beauty higher standard satin matte cream blush and I picked mine up in the shade confident this packaging is really cute <laughs> in terms of like oh that's so cute it's a triangle but in reality for me trying to put this somewhere it's impractical so I'm almost grateful that there's only one that I really liked I really wanted to support this brand though because it is a black owned brand I know that they're up and coming. I know they're doing their thing and I just wanted to be there to give a little bit of love. This does come with a mirror. The formula is a little bit sticky according to how it felt when I was in store, but that's because a thousand people had already swatched it. So this is just a cream blush and I think it's going to go really well with my skin. So excited. So you'll be seeing this in a video for sure and we'll give it a spin and see how it performs and all that other fun stuff. I'm assuming it'll perform nicely because everyone I've seen use it so far really only has great things to say about it. So um, I also grabbed a Sephora item. This is the C and E vitamin. Um, what is this called again? This is a serum. Vitamin C and E, C and E serum. <laughs> I don't know why I can't read this. Ultra glow serum, glow and strengthen. There we go. I have the feeling that this is trying to be an answer to the skin cuticles or skin suticles uh, brand where they have the vitamin C and ferulic acid, I think. Um, but I did see it in store. It does retail for $20, but the Sephora items were all 30% off. So I figured I would give this a try when I um, am done with one of my other serums. I'll just put this in place of that one for my vitamin C treatment, which I normally use the Milano CC, which is... Um, I believe, I cannot remember where it's from. It's either K-Beauty or J-Beauty. I don't want to misquote it. But the Milano CC uh, serum is the one that I use. And I love it. That one is fantastic. I've used it for many years. And I think it does a really good job. I went ahead and grabbed the Faded Topicals Brightening and Clearing Serum. And the reason I grabbed this is because I believe I've watched about maybe 20, 30 different YouTubers talk about it. And what they say is you can use this on a spot. So if you have a, a discoloration somewhere, you can just use this a little bit every day and it helps to fade that discoloration. And right now I have one right here from a big old zit that was on my face months ago. And I would like to try and fade that as much as I can. So this is another black owned brand as well. And I'm really glad to support them. I picked up my first um, Huda Beauty um like complexion product because I've never picked one up before. I definitely bought her palettes and love them, but I just never had a complexion palette or complexion product. So this one is her concealer and it is in the shade peanut butter 6.7 R. And I did swatch this in store. It was going to be a toss up between this and I think the other one was called praline, but this one seemed to work better. I think it's going to suit me better. And that's what that looks like. 
So I'm excited to use it because I've heard fantastic things about this concealer. Like people are just saying, you know, definitely buy it. And the last, the very last product in this haul is a Charlotte Tilbury product. It is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Complexion Perfecting Micro Powder in a partridge in a pear tree. I believe that I have this already, but the shade I have it in is too dark for the fall slash winter. So I decided to get the next shade up and I grabbed number three, which is tan. And this one I swatched in store and it works very well for me. So yeah, and her packaging, you guys, like, come on. More of that Art Deco sort of, it's, yeah. You already know. You already know what time it is. It's a, a really nice product. It's luxurious and it's got beautiful packaging. I'm not mad. That is it for this haul. It was massive. I know it was. If you hung in there, thank you so, so much. I really, really appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will talk to you soon. Take care.